parfait, faut regarder ça là. Le gros bateau il est là-bas. On va aller, euh, on va être à 38. This is the Sailing World on Water, July 23, 2021. Here are highlights in the sport of sailing in the last seven days. How would you like to foil behind Edmund de Rothschild one of the world's fastest trimarans? It's an experience of speed, flight and adrenaline for the kit foilers, from Lorien. Today the long-awaited 2020 Tokyo Olympics commence, and World Sailing has prepared a number of previews which include the fin, which they have sadly dropped for future events, and the RSX women's events. Their first race is Sunday July 25th at 4.05pm, local. Thomas Coville, skipper of the foiling trimaran, Sodibo, has qualified for the double-handed race, the Transat Jack Varb. British Von D Globe sailor, Pip Hare, has bought the former Bureau Valley, and under her regular sponsor, Medallia, she is preparing it to trial for the next round the world race. Here they install the foils. The 2021 OK Dinghy International Regatta was on Lake Garda and Valerian Lebrun, from France, secured the regatta after two more races were sailed in an early morning northerly. We relive this last rally of the Tour Voile 2021, which was marked by the victory of the leader in the general classification, Helvetia Blue, by Normandy Elite Team. The second stage of the Italian Cup of the FIV Techno 293 Youth Class began last week at the Circolo Surf Tour Bowl, on Garda Trentino. Another exciting sailing day for the sailors participating in this year's Rodos Cup 2021 was the route from Tylos to Niceros. 
Another windy, wet and wild day on the water for the 65 young athletes competing at the 2021 Formula Kite Under-19 and A's Youth Foil World Championship in Gazeria, Italy. Now over to the power sailing of the Finns. Sadly in the Olympics for the last time. The Finn is the oldest boat at the Olympic Games making its debut at the 1952 edition. It's four and a half metres long, has a single sail of 10.6 square metres, and every boat goes through a strict measurement process before competition. Known as the men's heavyweight dinghy, the average Finn athlete weighs over 90 kilos and tends to be over 1.82 meter tall. The Finn requires immense strength and fitness to hike the boat hard upwind for maximum speed, along with the enormous cardiovascular workout of pumping the sail and surfing the waves downwind. Great Britain has won this event at every Games since Sydney 2000, with Sir Ben Ainsley winning three consecutive gold medals from 2004 to 2012, before passing the baton to Giles Scott who won in Rio 2016. While Scott was the clear favourite for the last Games, this time the Britain is just one of a number who have a clear shot at the gold medal. New Zealand's Josh Junior won the 2019 World Championships and beat his compatriot and training partner Andy Maloney in a tight selection battle. John Borberich won the world title in 2018 and the Olympic test event in Enoshima in 2019 and is aiming to become the first ever sailor to win a gold medal for Hungary. In 1996 Roy Heiner won a bronze medal in the Finn for the Netherlands and now his son, past laser world champion Nicholas Heiner, aims to at least match or better his father's performance exactly a quarter century later. The youngest Finn competitor in Tokyo is Joan Cardona, who only recently qualified his country, Spain, for the last spot on the start line with a spectacular second place at this year's World Championships. This makes Cardona an outside bet to upset the more experienced competitors in the Finn fleet. The starting gun will sound for the first time for the Finn on the 27th of July with 19 sailors competing in 10 races ahead of the medal race. The simplest equipment in the Olympic sailing competition is the RSX Windsurfer. With a board that measures 286 centimeters long and 93 centimeters wide. The women compete with an 8.5 square meter sail, which can power them along at speeds well in excess of 20 knots in stronger winds. This is a sport that demands very different skills in different wind conditions. There are no rules governing pumping of the sail. So in light airs, the sailors pump the sail as hard and as frequently as their cardiovascular fitness will allow. For this reason, windsurfers are believed to be amongst the fittest athletes right across the whole games, on a par with marathon runners. As the wind gets stronger, the pumping becomes less critical and the athletes can lean back and let the wind power them along at high speed. Although good balance, agility, and a high level of strength and fitness are still prerequisites for success. Windsurfing athletes tend to be tall and lean with a low body fat percentage, but age is not necessarily a barrier, with medals sometimes going to teenagers and sometimes to competitors in their late 30s, Italy's four-time Olympic medalist Alessandra Sensini being a great example. Winner of the 2018, 2020 and 2021 World Championships Lillian de Oish of the Netherlands is the favourite for Tokyo Gold, but with a strong field lining up against her. Israel's Katie Spitchkoff, Italy's Marta Maggetti and Great Britain's Emma Wilson are all among the serious contenders. China have a strong history of success in women's windsurfing, which Yunju Lu will be looking to continue. Previous performances at the Olympic Games bode well for Poland's Sofia Nocetti Klepaczka, the bronze medalist at London 2012, and also for the defending Olympic champion from France, Charlene Picon. The fleet of 27 races will start competition on Monday the 26th of July.
peu plus, je sais pas combien on a fait exactement, mais euh, on a fait notre calife, ça s'est euh, plutôt bien passé, on a eu des conditions de navigation assez faciles et donc euh, on est content de l'avoir fait euh, assez tôt dans la saison pour euh, attaquer la suite de la préparation. Forcément, euh, c'est étape par étape et on, on déroule le film, on déroule euh, notre programme. Euh, c'est vrai que partir au large, en double, euh, euh, se mettre en condition, aller chercher du vent, euh, apprendre à, à se connaître à deux, parce qu'effectivement on a navigué ensemble euh, cet hiver, on a navigué ensemble depuis le début de la saison, mais, mais pas en, en B2B comme ils disent, ou euh, en couple, ou euh, tout simplement en double. Et, et je suis très content, je n'ai pas, pas d'autres mots, je ne veux pas de doute, mais quand tu rentres et que ça marche, c'est bien. De mon côté, je valide. <laughs> After a month of being in the shed and what kind of feels like slow progress, it's amazing how quickly the boat just comes together when we're out. So we've just fitted the foils. We bought them out of the sheds and actually offered them up by hand. We've got Ollie inside the boat who's connecting the systems that will pull the foils in and out from the cockpit. And we kind of just found the way in through the outer bearing and the inner bearing. And there we go, foils fitted.
quatrième et dernier aliment de cette édition du Tourvoil. Après maintenant 15 jours de course, les marins et leurs bateaux doivent rester au top de leur niveau. Des diam 24 affûtés, notamment grâce au travail des préparateurs. Le rôle du préparateur sur euh, une équipe, c'est de principalement fiabiliser le bateau pour qu'ils n'aient pas de problème sur, euh, sur l'eau pendant les manches. Il ne faut pas oublier que la, la voile, c'est un sport mécanique. On est un peu les, les mécanos, les, les docteurs du bateau. Quoi. Dès que on arrive le matin très tôt, les, pour, que les, pour que les gars arrivent euh, sereins et avec un bateau nickel. Bon, en fait, il faut être prêt à faire feu en permanence. Quoi. Donc souvent, on ne nous voit pas. Est on est, le matin, on est avant eux et le soir, on est souvent là sur la plage alors qu'ils sont déjà rentrés. Donc ils sont ravis de savoir quand je rentre tard le soir que leur bateau est réparé. Quoi. LV Siablou by Normandie Elite Team, premier du classement général depuis Dunkerque, n'avait jamais été aussi menacé. Un petit point les séparait hier de groupe Atlantique. Mais grâce à une belle maîtrise de la course du jour, la team normande s'impose et garde l'ascendant. Suivi de près par LV Sia Purple by Normandie Elite Team. Je pense que le, la victoire va faire du bien à tout le monde. Et puis on va repartir de l'avant euh, sur de bonnes bases. Mais, euh, mais non, on est content de s'en sortir euh, avec la victoire. Retrouvons-nous demain pour les épreuves de parcours construit à Royan. First of all, uh, we have to welcome everybody for attending this uh, great event. It was postponed last year because of the COVID. Uh, thankfully, this year we organized it, uh, and uh, I think it was very well organized. Um, we had uh, 28 boats. I think it's quite good, taking under consideration all the restrictions. 
and uh, the impact of the local economy in, the, in this kind of events is very important. As you can see, uh, people are enjoying. After one year of lockdown, it's very important. And I think it will be a good race. The day was great, we were the first, uh, the wind was not so strong but uh, we, we made our best and uh, we were the first. Uh, we have uh, a good professional in our team so uh, we, are, we are glad to participate in uh, this Rhodes Cup and uh, everything will be okay I think. The difficult part is, is racing with Julia because she's really fast uh, and Nina, she was right behind me uh, in, in some races so, so I think that was the hardest part. I mean Julia is really good downwind so I had no chance with her when I was on 11. That's why I took 15 on the last race. Uh, and I mean, I have only chance when I'm like first on the upwind mark. It's hard to talk about it because we are both friends and we are both on the pretty same level. So I think it's gonna be tough fight between us. Magdalena is a super strong competitor and she's also like really strong girl, so I think it's gonna be it's gonna be tight racing and it's gonna be tough. Both of the girls are on a really similar level. They change the position a lot, and when they train in Poland and when they train abroad, you can see that they are always fighting and they are always together on the finish line. So it's really hard to tell who's going to be on top here. Right now Julia is in the lead, but Magdalena is not far behind and you can see it on the, on the, race, on the race course. 